guys welcome back to my channel or if you're new welcome my name is monica and today i'm doing a palette resurrection with quite possibly one of the most infamous palettes of all time the modern renaissance palette by abh now i actually have quite a connection with this palette because it was one of the first higher end palettes that i was able like ever able to purchase the i think it was it was like the the holiday season that this first came out because i bought this right after christmas christmas and my birthday are the same week so i tend to get a lot of like gift cards and stuff just the last week of the year and it was at this point where everyone realized that i really liked makeup and i was really into it so i got like four sephora gift cards like within the span of a week so i put them all together and put together this huge like sephora haul and i was so excited and at that point i really didn't know much about products i wasn't watching a lot of product reviews on youtube i was watching more tutorials and i really wanted higher end eyeshadow palettes because up until then i only had two of the small tin Too faced palettes i really hadn't had any like palette of this size so i was really excited to pick one up this was my very first abh palette and i remember i was on the website and i was looking at like the the nude sephora and i saw this palette and at first it kind of scared me because i had never um, until that point touched red or pink eyeshadows because i read this article once which i mean it was like probably like a one-off article in a magazine but i remember it saying don't wear red eyeshadow because it'll make you look more tired and as someone who has really bad bags under my eyes, as someone who is kind of perpetually always tired but didn't want to look it, I was like, oh god, no, I'll never touch red eyeshadow. And I never did until I got this palette. So what really drew me into this palette on the website were the shade names and how varied the palette was. I remember really thinking Tempura, Red Ochre, Venetian Red, and Antique Bronze. Those are the ones where I looked at those and I was like, those sound beautiful and they look stunning. And I didn't actually watch any review videos on this palette before I bought it. It was kind of just a spur of the moment, like, oh, that looks pretty. I've got gift cards. I'm going to grab it. And after I ordered it and got it in the mail, I really had no idea how to use anything other than warm taupe and cypress umbra. I think I stuck to those two shades for, like, weeks. And then all of the videos started coming out, because this is right when this palette first released. So everyone and their mother did a palette review, did looks, did tutorials. So that was really my first deep dive into tutorials specific for a palette as opposed to just like full face full coverage tutorials or foundation tutorials it was more of like the first specific tutorial i got into so this palette does have a special place in my heart it is still available both from abh and at sephora it is 42 dollars but honestly i think it is 100% worth the hype that it has gotten over the past couple of years because it's beautiful you get a beautiful array of colors in here you've got some red some pinks an orange a light orange some neutrals you can really go from a really neutral work appropriate look to the most glam editorial look in one palette the shadows are very very soft so i never travel with abh palettes because i know like it's gonna break they're very very soft they are very pigmented when i first got this palette I was digging in like it was a drugstore palette. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. You only really need to tap unless you're putting a shade all over your lid. Like I use tempura to set my eyeshadow primer. I'll kind of dig in and actually put it all over because I really want that set. But for the most part, I've been using this palette fairly consistency for two consistency. Fairly consistently for about two years, and I've yet to hit pan on anything, even though they're so soft just because you really only need to tap your brush in. I know recently I haven't been reaching for my older palettes because a lot of new palettes have been coming out. I've been really excited about those, but I felt I really needed to go back, start looking at my older palettes. I actually just did a video with my very first eyeshadow palette, that Too Faced Boudoir Eyes. I'll go ahead and throw that link to that video up in the cards above. But along those lines, I've just been doing like flashbacks, thinking about my first hauls, my first videos, my first looks. And I've been really inspired to do a palette resurrection with this palette. So because this palette is so versatile, I actually did three looks with this palette. This is look number three right here. And I'm just really excited to share <laughs> my passion for this palette with you guys. So before we jump into the looks, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like it. And if you want to see any more, don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video. 
So let's go ahead and jump into look number one.
So those are the three looks with the Modern Renaissance palette. I hope you guys really like this and I hope this really inspires you to pick up the Modern Renaissance if you have it. If you don't, Wet n Wild has an amazing dupe for, I think it's $10 for this palette it's called like rosé in the air i'll throw a picture up here just so you guys can take a look at it you could also use this video as inspiration for that palette i'm sure there are also plenty of other palettes that have this similar color scheme so i hope this inspires you to pick it back up if you have them and to start experimenting with them because i think look number two was a look i had never done before and it wasn't until i sat down really looked at the palette and we're just thinking about different ways to put the colors together that I was really able to put that together. And I really liked how they all turned out. So thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye.